Backup Exec 20 allows us to back up our system state of our servers and workstations. The system state basically allows you to restore a server or a computer back to the way it was prior to any type of disaster. Now, what it doesn't include are the files and the applications that you may have installed, but it does include things like Active Directory, if it's a domain controller, the size uh, of the hard drives, uh, the way Windows is set up, the registry, the COM plus files, a lot of different types of files. So system state is very important. Now, if you decide you don't need to back up the entire server, but you would like to back up the system state just in case of a disaster, then Backup Exec lets you do that. So we're in our server. Let's go ahead and do what's called a one-time backup, and we'll choose one-time backup to disk. Now, I've already done the different, uh, we'll go ahead and choose our backup account. I've already done the storage portion of this in a previous video, which you can certainly check out. All right, we'll go ahead and click on Edit. And from here, we'll uncheck the C drive and our SQL server. We're just going to back up the system state itself. Now, the system state, as far as size goes, depends on the uh, type of server or workstation you have, but figure in about 15 to 20 gigabytes just to be on the safe side. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to go ahead and choose to run it. It's going to keep it for two weeks. And we're just going to go ahead and click OK. We can see that our backup job has started. Let's go ahead and double click on the job. And you can see here that it is going and we should start seeing the data climb and the speed of which we're backing up our data shortly. Now, if you need to restore the system state, you'll need to, if it's a Windows computer, you'll need to go ahead and boot into safe mode and when you're moving into safe mode, then you should be able to restore your data at that point. However, if it's Active Directory, you'll need to choose the Active Directory recovery mode instead and mark the data, uh, the database as overwritable. So that way you can overwrite the Active Directory database from the corrupt one to the new one. So there are, are all different types of documents out there on this at Veritas.com. You can go ahead and create a free account and then get into the documentation on how to do that. So we can see that our data is climbing. You can see it's running about 680 megabytes per minute and that so far it's got uh, 408 megabytes. And that's just going to sort of go up and down in speed and in size it's going to go up. And it typically, depending on the speed of your computer, uh, will run somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes before completion. We can see that our backup was successful. Let's go ahead and expand it. And we say it's, it says completed. Double click on it. And we can see that it was the system state that was selected and the other two items were not. So if we wanted to restore, then we would just click on the restore button. But first, of course, we would need to be in a safe mode on the server. And if it's Active Directory, we need to do Active Directory restore mode. So that is how we back up the system state on Backup Exec 20 and using a Windows 2016 server.